How I broke four limiting beliefs, which has helped me grow my own company to over $2 million a year. Now in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you what those four limiting beliefs are. And then literally in the next 10 minutes or so, I'm going to absolutely shatter them for you. So you can walk out of this video with a completely new mindset, a completely new perspective switch. And hopefully if I do my job as well as I know I'm about to, you are literally gonna be in a place where you're gonna be able to exponentially scale your income because we fundamentally looking at things differently because I want to show you something right here. I'm going to come over to my business partner's desk and one of the things that he has on his screen and he always has is that your paradigms are your only ceilings and basically what that means is that we are only capped by what goes on between our own head and the paradigms which is in layman's terms how we see the world is the reason why we live the life that we want and if we want to live a different life the first step is to shift our own paradigms so we view the world differently which is ultimately going to allow us to experience and live a different life it's the same reason why let's say when you know rich kids grow up and their dads make hundreds of millions of dollars they don't think ten thousand dollars is a lot of money so a lot of times when they will go and start their business they will sign their first client on a ten thousand dollar deal just because they have a different paradigm so now i'm going to hop back onto my computer here and I'm gonna walk you through how I broke four main limiting beliefs, which completely unlocked a whole new level of life and a whole new level of income for me personally. All right, so the first limiting belief that I broke, it's kind of a funny way. And what this one allowed me to do was it allowed me to realize that anything is possible and that it allowed me to start you know, making decisions based on who I wanted to be, not who I was currently. So back while I was still in high school, I bought my first vehicle, which was a 2005 Ford Escape, otherwise known as a complete shitbox. And after about six months of driving this vehicle, I began to run into constant problems. There was constant problems with the engine, it would break down. And it was kind of like just a repeated thing that kept going on and on and on. And I remember I had to keep spending money to fix my car, which at the time when I was only making about 20 to 25 bucks an hour as a part time job, and a little bit of money on the side from I guess what you would call an agency, it really hurt to spend a lot of money. And then one day, I remember I drove it back home. And to my dismay, there was engine lights on. And I remember, you know, I went inside, I got my dad, we came outside, we lifted up the hood and there was problems with the oil, there's problems with the engine. And I was like, shit, I'm gonna have to go back and spend more money to fix this again. And I didn't wanna do that. But at this point, I'd be kind of become tired of the car and I realized that, you know, it was time to get a new car. And so we got it fixed, we ended up selling it. And then I went back to Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist where I could, you know, look for another vehicle. And as I was looking for more vehicles, I kept sending my dad the vehicles that I was checking out for him to, you know, vet for me. And, you know, I was looking for vehicles with like super low mileage, but were like a new car and also under like $5,000 and it like didn't exist. Right. And so I kept sending my dad shit box after shit box after shit box. And he's like, no, this one won't work. You run into the same problems. You run into the same problems. You run into the same problems. And then one day while I was sitting there at dinner, going through more cars to look at, he kind of got fed up. I could tell he was a little bit frustrated. And he said to me something which forever changed my beliefs when I'm making financial decisions now. And he's like, Instead of focusing on trying to save money and get a cheap car, why don't you just focus on trying to make more money? And that really sank in and that hit me. And then I decided to, okay, maybe let me look at 2016, 2017 Nissans is what I was looking at. And so that weekend we went around to dealership, to dealership, to dealership, and then we couldn't find the ideal car that I was looking for. And we were dealing with a bunch of sleazy salesmen that we just didn't want to give their money because we fucking hated how they carried themselves. But that is another story for another time. Regardless though, after about after going through about four or five different dealerships, um, my dad, who had actually just picked up a brand new BMW, had to go pick something up for his car that he picked up about a week ago. And as we pulled up to the D BMW dealership, me waiting for my dad to get his new part or whatever he needed, started to wander around the lot. And I'll spare you the details, but about 30 minutes later, I found a 2016 BMW X3 that I was kind of interested in. And I told my dad, hey, what do you think about this one? And we began to talk and we began to talk with the sales guy and whatnot. And we got to the final stages where I was like, you know what? I might actually buy this thing, but there was a big problem at the time. The payments on that car were about $500 a month. And that I couldn't even like stomach that because I was only making like three, two and a half to three grand a month. And with all the other expenses that I had in my life, like I didn't know how I was going to be able to afford that vehicle, but 
I didn't really want to tell my dad that I wasn't doing as well in my business. And I didn't really want to, you know, make myself look like I'm not actually successful, even though I wasn't actually successful. So I, you know, stood tall and I said, yep, let me get it. And I remember signing the dotted line thinking, oh, fuck, how embarrassing is it going to be when I have to bring this car back in three months from now because I can't afford it? And that moment on, I remember driving it home with kind of like mixed emotions, like kind of excited that I got the car, but really just scared of how much money I was going to have to pay because I also had to put a significant portion of what I had to my name down to get the car in the first place. Overall, a terrible financial decision. But what the fire and pressure that this car did to me forever changed my life because at the time I was making about 2K a month working a part-time job and then I was making about 500 to $1,000 a month with my agency. Within two months later, I was walking away from my part-time job because I was at eight to $10,000 a month with my agency and it never slowed down after that. And that was when I realized that I, in that time, made the decision of somebody who was making $10,000 a month as opposed to somebody who was in my position. And as a result, shortly after, because I was already making the decisions of a $10,000 a month individual, I was also making $10,000 a month. Now, at this point in my time, although I was making, you know, 10, $12,000 a month with my agency, I wasn't charging that much money. I was actually only charging like two to $500 per client. And this next limiting belief that I was able to shatter very quickly actually allowed me to completely shift my paradigms around what I was able to charge my clients, what I was able to charge for pricing. And as a result, I saw a massive increase in my personal income because with this paradigm shift, it allowed me to think like, oh, I can easily ask for 2K. Oh, I can easily ask for 5K. And all I had to do was actually pull up one of my clients' financial statements. So as you can see on my screen here, I have you know a typical client's financial statements. I have one for a gym here and one for a home improvement company here. And what you can see is that on any given year, you know, a gym is spending, as you can see here, $235,000, $368,000, $402,000 is how much this gym is spending to operate it. So if somebody's spending $400,000, right, they're already spending $400,000. Do you think it makes sense for them to spend $405,000 that year? And as a, res as a result, be able to fill their gyms with leads, clients, and profit to actively make, you know, three, four, five, ten 10 times the amount on that $5,000. Yes, it does 100% of the time. And here's another example, an even more extreme example of people in the home improvement niche here, right? As you can see here, the amount that this company is spending just to operate the company is over $400,000. So again, would it make sense to spend an extra $5,000 at the end of the year, if you could get four, five, six, seven, nine, ten 10 new jobs from that additional $5,000, given that you're already spending over 400,000, 100% it does, right? And when you zoom out and you look at these clients' financial statements over a 12 month period, you realize that your $5,000 PIF or whatever is like nothing to them in the overall grand scheme of them running their company. And when I had that belief, I was like, oh shit, I can charge a lot more money than what I'm doing. I doubled, tripled, 10x my prices even at some point, and my closing rate stayed the exact same, and it completely unlocked a whole nother level of income and personal life that I was able to experience as a result of shattering that limiting belief. Now, real quick, hope you're enjoying this video so far, and trust me, I got more limiting beliefs for you to shatter so you can unlock a next level of income and personal life satisfaction without actually changing anything in your life. But real quick, I wanna mention this because I don't really talk about this much, and it's that if you want me and my team to come into your business to get clients for you and then work with you one-on-one -on -one every single day to automate and operate the back end of your agency, click below to apply. You can see here, we've done this for many, 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 many people before. We have a slew of case studies and testimonials you can check out as well. And I'll share this with you real quick. This process was actually developed after we did it three times in a row for ourselves. The first time we did it, we could call that luck, exponential growth to 89K. Second time we did it was maybe this, just kind of trying it out to see if it works where once again, we went to 145K and the third time we're like, okay, this is proven exponential growth to 119K. And as you can see, we've done it many times since. Other than that, I'll get back to the video and get ready to get some more limiting beliefs completely shattered. Now, the next one, which kind of goes hand in hand with that first one is the thousand dollar test. And really it's a simple question that I like to ask people nowadays is that if I give you a thousand dollars, would that change your life in any given way? The answer, Probably no. Now, if I took a thousand dollars from you, would that change your life in any given way? The answer, probably no, right? And the whole point of this is now that you understand that a thousand dollars isn't 
a lot of money, right? And if you gain a thousand dollars, your life doesn't change. And if you lose a thousand dollars, your life doesn't change. So might as well charge at least a thousand dollars if you're selling your services online, right? And when you have that frame of like, this is minimal impact, no big deal type of money, you realize right away that it's like, oh shit, like people throw around thousand dollars like nothing, especially in the business world, especially if they're already spending, you know, over $400,000 a year just to operate their company. Right. And that was a little another quick limiting belief that I tacked on to the first one of actually understanding my client's financial statements to realize that although I was scared to offer anything more than five hundred dollars at the time, that was all just limiting internal beliefs, because then I realized that like a thousand dollars doesn't change my life either way. And so might as well ask for it. And then the last limiting belief that I had shared, which once again, completely, you know, wrapped my paradigm shift around how much money I could make, how much money I could charge and really what the endless capabilities were when you get into business for yourself. And this actually happened about two or three years ago. And so this was at a time where I had been plateaued at around 10 to 20K a month for an extended period of time. And I was really fed up with making this amount of money. Now, granted, I was comfortable. I had enough money to pay the bills. I wasn't stressing about money or anything like that. But I had much bigger aspirations than to just get to 10K a month and, you know, leave it at that. And so at that point, I began to shop around and looking for different programs to join and I ended up joining a program. Now, I didn't have the best results from the program. And I'm not going to mention the name because I don't like bashing other people's life's work. But although it didn't necessarily give me a lot of tangible results from this program, it gave me one thing, which again, completely shift my paradigms around what I could do for my own company. And the reason it did that is because this program costed $25,000 to join for four months. $25,000 for a four month enrollment. And although I didn't go on to it and, you know, build my company to hundred thousand dollars a month after that and see crazy success from the coaching and the assets that I got inside the program, what it did teach me is that I was sitting in environments with, you know, 50 to hundred other business owners that were just like me, knowing that every single one of these entrepreneurs also paid $25,000 to be on this call. And I was like, holy shit, these are all just like normal average people. Like these people that I'm speaking to on this group call are a lot of the people like literally like the same people that I talk to when I'm speaking with prospects and these guys all pay $25,000 to be here, right? So I can at least charge $5,000. I can at least charge $10,000 for what I'm doing, right? Obviously at this time, like that program was a little bit more advanced. They had more case studies. They had more results. They had more proof than I did at the time. So maybe I couldn't go straight to 25K, but I could at least go to 10, right? And already that was like a 5X of what I was charging at that time in my business. And again, with that new paradigm shift of like, holy shit, there's floods of people that are paying $25,000 for a four month service why am I charging 2k again it allowed me to raise my prices and again my close rates did not change whatsoever and again saw a massive increase in my personal life development and the amount of money that I was making so those are four of the limiting beliefs that I was able to shatter and how I was able to shatter them and I hope you were able to experience the same kind of game-changing beliefs as a result of watching this video and I hope it's you know unlocked a new paradigm shattered some limiting beliefs so you can take this to the bank you can 2 to 10x your prices and as a result I guarantee you that your close rates are going to have minimal difference with this new pricing. And the only thing that's going to change is you're going to unlock a whole nother level of life. You're going to unlock a whole nother level of freedom. And more importantly, you're now going to be able to actually realize, actually realize the dream that you originally signed up for when you started this company. Once again, I appreciate the time that you took watching this video. I hope you got 10x the value in return. And my only ask is that you leave a comment asking any questions about this and I will personally reply back to you. Other than that, have an amazing day, fellas. I wish you the best with your company and I'll see you guys in the next video.